Good morning, everyone. Happy Set Me Up Sunday. I've set my goal for today, and that is the top priority, if nothing else happens, is that I want to get the spare room as tidy as possible. So there's a couple of things that I need to move before I can film them on here, Mo mostly the boys' school uniforms and Tim's uh, work uniform because the ironing board is often in here. So their uniforms are in here. Um, so I'll just move them out and then I'll set up the camera as we work through the spare room together. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but I'll feel so much better when it's done. All right, first things first, this is how the hangers are because the boys get their uniforms from here in the morning and uh, it looks like hanger tetra. So first thing is to get these hangers back into the laundry. All right, next is this pile is to go to the charity bins and over here, this whole bag is full of the boys' uniforms from last year, which we can donate to a, a secondhand uniform shop at their school. So I'm going to take this to the car and I am going to take this to the car so that the next time I pass the charity bins and the next time I'm at the boys' school, I can get those sorted and on their way. All right, next is this Cry Cut Joy and the package that came with it that I'm giving away. So I'm going to go and load that onto one of my Facebook groups right now for someone to win it so that I don't forget because I've been saying I was going to do it for a little while. Today is the day. I'm heading to do it right now. The next thing are these two soda stream bottles. They're ready to be refilled, so they just need to go to the car so that the next time I'm in Big W, I can do the swap over of them and get the new soda stream refills. It's only been probably 10 minutes and I've already done most of this side of the room. So there are a couple of things that need to be left on this side because they're there in preparation for a couple of things that are happening over the next week or two. But for the most part, we're done. So here's what's left over here. This stays here all the time because we put the boys' school socks in there. So when they are getting dressed in the morning, they grab their uniforms that are hanging there, they get their socks that are there, and then they're ready to go. These things over here, the boys have put on eBay for sale. These are their things that they have chosen to sell. So the charger and the watch for Bruiser and Hunter is selling these Ushis, or at least he thinks he is. Uh, so they're up on eBay at the moment. So they need to stay there until they sell. This is for Valentine's Day for Tim. So I'm gonna put it in a cute box, but it was just a pack of different pale ales, so craft beers, which Tim really likes. And that's what I got him for Valentine's Day. I just thought it would be a sweet little treat. And then this bag, we unpacked when we came back from Brisbane just a week or so ago and we're going to be going to Brisbane in another week's time so we didn't pack it away we left it here empty for the next trip so I could put it away but that seems crazy to me so those things over there are going to stay there because all of them are out for different reasons but in a week's time well not these these will stay for a little bit longer but in a week's time the other two things should be away hello scratch so kind of you to join us darling hi you coming to help no thanks, Mum. Now, we're very lucky with storage in this house, but I still like to try and utilise as much space as I can. So this clean bedding that is on the bed there, I'm not going to put it into a cupboard or even under the storage beds. What I do is I actually bulk the spare room bed up with it. So I'm going to put that blanket, the um, insert, underneath this, and I don't actually put a... Uh, insert into this so you can see there's already a clean duvet under there I don't put the insert into it and I'll put the other doona insert underneath that and then when we have guests staying over obviously then we wash the covers and we put the insert into one of them and we make the bed ready for them but we only have people staying here probably uh, once every two years maybe once a year so for the rest of the year or the rest of the two years, this works really well for us. So I'll just show you 
show you what I've done here. So I have the fitted sheet, the, or the flap sheet like normal, and I have a fitted sheet here. And uh, it looks really soft and fluffy, the bed, because there are a couple of uh, doona inserts under there. So there's this one, and then there's a second one under there, and they are spares for our other beds. But unless we uh, need them, they just stay on here until we have guests come over, and then we sort out these beds. But it just saves us some space in our linen cupboards, and this bed is very rarely used. I used to pack the international LBD orders from the dining room and often from the spare room here. So I've just emptied those drawers over there um, with all the things that I used to fill out for the international orders because I used to have to handwrite them all because uh, I didn't have I didn't have access to the website that our planners were sold on, so I couldn't access the back end of it, which meant that I would get sent a spreadsheet and then I would handwrite the addresses. But I found some pretty cool things back here. Look at these. Do you remember this? I survived the 2020 LBD launch. Well, I've got a heap of those stickers still here that I used to pack into the orders. And I have all the pickup lists and all sorts of things in here that obviously I no longer need. So I'm going to get rid of them now, but it's, it's lovely to look back and to reflect on how I used to have to do things and then how we do things now. Um, and I found lots of already paid for parcel post bags, which is handy as well. So I'll take them to the warehouse. I told you earlier, I would show you, I keep a couple of the articles uh, that have so kindly been done on either the planners or organizing. So this is one of them in our local crush magazine. And then this one is from such a long time ago when Hans was a baby, look. Uh, we did an article on his bedroom. We had a hot air balloon theme. And uh, yeah, it was so beautiful, the little hot air balloon mobiles. And I'm so pleased that I did this one actually because I wrote his birth story in here. And I'd forgotten that I'd done it, but I told quite a bit of his birth story in here, which is so good because I never wrote it down anywhere else. So that's really special to me. And um, I actually just leave these magazines next to the spare room bed. So when guests come, they're the magazines instead of buying different ones. And it also allows me to display them um, because they're a little bit special to me. So they're always out on display. And I now have these two empty drawers because I went through and took out all the things we used to use for international shipping. And I'm going to take these to the warehouse because I will definitely use them. And then I've got a couple of things I can return to the post office. So these forms that were just spares. Um, and then the paperwork at the back, obviously that is um, ready to go. So that is a good job done. All done, it feels so much better. There's nothing in here that needs attention. Just that suitcase that's ready for Brisbane. The boys, couple of things that they wanted to sell. So I didn't want to put them away because they're kind of needed right now feel like I made my way through everything. Here's some different happy books when you need a pick-me-up. Grab any of them. It's a nice little area here and this is where the boys get dressed for school every day but if the spare room and the dining room are both tidy and everything's in its place that normally means I'm on top of things and the rest of the house everything is in its place. So I feel really good that I spent the 20 minutes in this space and I'm gonna go and do the dining room table and the kitchen next. Tim dropped home from fishing and uh, we had lunch together and spoke about a couple of business things that we have to consider over the next couple of weeks. And then I put the laundry in. So I put two loads of laundry in. The boys are happily playing. Tim's now gone out to play golf and I'm just going to relax and watch one TV show before I keep going. So I think that equally as important as doing something in your home, setting yourself up for the week ahead so that your week runs better, I also think your week will run a whole lot better if you're okay and you feel a little bit recharged as well. Because if we start the week feeling depleted, then the week obviously feels harder. So I always think about something that I can do just to switch off for a little bit and do something for me.
All right, the dining room table is clear, which is a really good feeling. You know how I said I feel wonderful when the dining room table and the spare room is clear and free of clutter because that's my hot spot. Hello, you coming to say hello? Hi. Hi. <laughs> you look very happy. Did you want to share something? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Um, I lost one of my softies at, uh, well, a so Teddy I call Softy at Elliot Island and he found two friends that looked the exact same as him and both of them arrived today. It's an exciting day, isn't it? Look at them. One eye on this one is smaller. Yeah, they're very cute, aren't they? They're, they look different. You would think they yeah. look the same, but they don't. Look. Daddy said he thinks this one is a little girl. We should put a bow in her hair and then this one we need like a bow tie. Her oh boy, what do you reckon? <laughs> so cool, hey? Yeah, so the dining room, are you finished or did you want to talk yeah, more? I'm are you good? Okay. The dining room table is now cleared and we just spent 15 minutes in the kitchen. Oh, you want to show you something else? Okay. And um, they brought these. We have two of them and one of them brought this one and the other brought this one on the floor. And they brought their own suitcases. Yeah. Looks like they're well traveled. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, so I did a less than 15 minute quick tidy up and the washing is still going. It has a while on it. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. I feel like I haven't done a lot today, but I feel good about the amount that I've done. So the kitchen is cleared, the dishes are in, the dining room table is cleared, which is a major one for us. Although, full disclaimer, um, I do have this pile, so this is the plan, my planner, but I do have this pile of paperwork that does need to be actioned. So it would normally sit on the dining room table. I've put it there to actually take it to the studio with me so I can focus on getting that done. And um, this one's fallen off, but we have new custom uh, paper for our wallet. See how it says Project 14? It's all these little things that we're trying to just improve little things as we go. So the kitchen is cleared. Uh, everything has been put away. That's just the frame from the dining room wall that has to go up. So that will go over there. And uh, I'm going to take the boys out now. So Tim was golfing, but is now um, heading to a barbecue with some of his friends. So it's the Super Bowl weekend and he has gone for a barbecue. So he won't be back till late tonight. He certainly won't be having dinner with us. So I thought I would take the kids and we'll go have dinner and we'll go spend some time at the beach because one of the things that we set as a goal for 2021 was to uh, finish every Sunday at the beach. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, you bought your cricket bat and ball? Well, I might not take it. Okay. But I'm looking for crews to if we're going to take I'm gonna go now. We're ready to go. Ready to go to the car? I'm gonna put some music on. Go get some yummy dinner. Go have some fun. Yep. Yeah? All right, let's go. Five to six. I've just stopped past the warehouse quickly because we try and pack orders every day. And I've also got to do a bit of a stock take of the planners that I'd set aside to um, gift to charities because I believe that all the charities that reached out have now received their planners from us. Uh, we tried to reach out this year to domestic violence survivors, um, to organizations like Eden Place here in Bundaberg, but also um, some husbands of, obviously their wives are LBD customers reached out because they work with uh, different people inside of hospitals. Uh, there were companies that did rehabilitation that reached out. And so I think that everyone that um, we could help, we have helped. And so the rest of the product that we have set aside that we hadn't put up for sale. We are going to 
pop up on a, an extraordinary sale page on the website with all the money, 100% of the money that comes in, except the shipping, going towards the Perth bushfires. So um, I will put the GST aside as a, as a business, so we won't take the GST out of your, actually, the website is gonna charge you Oh no, that's right. The It will tell you how much GST is included in your sale, but we will personally pay that. We won't take that out um, for the profit so that every dollar that you donate can go towards the birth, the birth bushfires. It's been a long day. And um, yeah, by the time you watch this, it's probably already done. I don't know how long it will take for us to sell the product for the Perth bushfires, uh, but I hope that we can make a difference together. So that's what I'm going to do now. After I've packed orders, I'm going to do some stock takes, see what we've got, and I better plug this phone in. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know if any of that made sense. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna stop now. The washing, sweetheart. Let me just put these groceries away. Oh, look what I bought, trees. I didn't even mean to buy those. What did you buy? Have a look. What's your trigger? Nice. I don't know what they're like. I didn't mean to buy them. Well, any of these are nice. This isn't the ones we've had before, but I know they're nice. Uh, um, Do you know why? Why? I don't think you can get not nice shows. Oh. Do you want I thought I'd better quickly show you these. Uh, these are the grocery bags that I use and they are from Orange and Thyme. I love them, I love the color. I'll just keep getting the other groceries. So I've been doing click and collect lately and I just asked them not to put them in bags. And then uh, when I call them, and they come out to the car, they have baskets full of groceries and um, I just pack the groceries straight into here from the basket. So it works pretty well. The boys love this yogurt. Love that yogurt. All right. Here's a set me up for success. You know, we've been making our own meals from scratch at home. Um, when there's going to be a busy week, I get something quick and easy. So I just bought a pre-made lasagna for one night because we are going to be out a bit later. And so that's what we're going to have. And uh, I think, let me check, uh, it will go in the oven for 55 minutes. So I just have to make sure I remember to put it in straight away when we get home. I have some bread that I squished. It was my fault, but it is squished. And then we've been putting these in the boys' lunch boxes. So that's the chocolate one. I, have, I haven't actually tried the chocolate one. Let me turn some more lights on. Maybe that will be better. Is that better? <laughs> um, these are the ones that they have been having. They're the marshmallow flavor one, but I'm trying the double chock this week. Two bananas. Is that all I ordered? Oh no. Four bananas. I don't know why they've come separately. And I think I have one more bag. Heavy one. Okay. Oh, there's some milk, apples, some crackers. Okay, I'm gonna go and put these away. I'm sorry that I seem a little bit uh, not upbeat. I do not get headaches, but I have a cracking headache right from the base of my neck all the way up to the back of my head. Um, like right at the back of my head and it's just Anyway, I can't complain because I very rarely get headaches, so I'm lucky. I'm one of the lucky people that doesn't experience headaches anymore, but if I don't seem very upbeat, that is why. I'm gonna get these packed away, I'm gonna have a shower myself. We've had dinner already, and uh, I think I'm gonna wind down. My aim is to be done by seven, which is 25 minutes. 25 minutes to go. We have had a very laid back fridge lately. This this is it, like after doing the groceries. So we do have a little extra milk. We don't normally have that all that milk and we have another thing of milk here. So that's not normal. Um, little yogurts for the kids. 
Uh, what else do we have here? These were Christmas, like we had them at Christmas and we haven't really drunk a lot of them. This is my cold drip. And then these, because I was born in South Africa, if you're South African, you will know these. Um, I love this one with chips. I know it's, oh yeah, salad and French fry dressing. And then this one, uh, barbecue sauce. We got that at the South African shop and I love them. Uh, and then a couple of Yo Pros, strawberries, blueberries, butter. There's not a whole lot in here, but it's ready for another week. I know that's backwards, but it's 10 to seven. I made it <laughs> into bed by before seven. Um, the kids are all sorted now and in bed and Tim is obviously still out. I do have my planner bag with my budget planner, my planner for the week ahead, and my one thing every day planner, which is my favorite at the moment. And um, I am going to sit and just plan out the week, but I also did bring my laptop and I never bring my laptop, I have to charge it. <laughs> um, it's always at the warehouse, but I bought it home and I took notes for the stock take. So I just wrote them on the back of this card of how much of each product we could put up for the Perth bushfires. So I've got all of that. I have the intention to work on that, but if my head doesn't ease and I just need an early night, then that's what will happen. But I am going to wrap up this Set Me Up Sunday here because I'm going to edit the video now. If I don't do it tonight, I struggle to do it during the week when the week um, gets full and I'm needing to do other things. So I'm going to wrap up here. I hope that this first Back to Set Me Up Sunday video has, I don't know, maybe helped inspire you to tackle something today that maybe you weren't going to tackle. Maybe it's encouraged you to stop and take a break if you need it. Uh, yeah, I hope that in some way or another, it encourages you to do what is best for you and not to allow other people to tell you what you should or shouldn't be doing for your life or in your life. Uh, and instead um, that you are able to build the confidence to know what it is that you need and that some weeks there'll be big set me up Sundays and other weeks you need to recharge and do a couple of things for yourself so you're ready for the week ahead. However you choose to spend your Set Me Up Sunday is the right way to spend it because no one knows you or your family like you do. All right, I'm wrapping it up here. Happy Set Me Up Sunday, everyone.